You know, the average American consumes almost 70 pounds of clothes and textiles a year. 70 pounds! Now, how much of this gets recycled at the end of its lifetime? At least when we're done with it? Well, let's see, shoes. Oh, that was a nice shirt. Another t shirt. Oh, towels, pillowcases. I had to have these shoes. Oh, and here's some more. Oh, this was a nice shirt. Gosh, I loved wearing that. Well, that's about it. 85% of used textiles get thrown into the landfills. How sad is that? It's about 5% of the space in landfills that's being consumed by these recyclable materials. Almost 100% of this is recyclable. And you know why? It's because us Americans for the past 25 years, year over year, we are buying more and more stuff uh, than the year before. And our contributions to charities and the like of these clothes and textiles have leveled off at about 15%. That's just sad. Now, I admit, I'm an addict, a clothes addict. You know, I gotta have the latest styles. I really, really um, like to keep up with, you know, what's current. But you know what? There are clothes in my closet that I haven't even taken the tag off. I haven't worn them for two years, and I'm probably not going to. So, what are we gonna do about this? Well, first things first. Do we really need to buy 70 pounds of stuff each year? Probably not. And we could very easily donate more things to charity and keep the economic value of these materials going and circulating in the world and also providing some social equity around the world with people who really need clothes and blankets and shoes. Well, in addition to giving more things to charity, consider this. I only spent about 50 bucks on clothes last year and I still look great. And where did I shop? Well, I shopped at lots of places. But where did I buy? At consignment shops. It's also where I bring my clothes before donating them to charity. Well, this is Chris Gauger. She's owner of, here we go again, Fashion Consignment Shops. Hey, thanks for having us here with you today. Hey, Jean, it's my pleasure. I'm really sorry about the mess over there on the floor. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. OK, great. Well, I tell you what, while I go clean up uh, those piles, how about if you tell our viewers how you got into this business? Okay, sure. Well, I grew up in a family that always recycled, and I wore hand-me-downs pretty much my whole childhood. So this was a pretty much logical next step for me. And um, I always had great taste in clothes, but I never quite had that kind of a budget. Hey, well, I hear you on that personal budget issue, Chris. <laughs> me too. Oh, uh, well, I found in the piles a few things. I got them on hangers that I think you might be able to consign. Okay. So, you know, while I do some shopping on my own, why don't you tell the folks how easy it is to consign? I'd be glad to. Okay, great. Here you go. Well, we try and keep it simple. We look at consignment items anytime we're open. We don't require an appointment. We don't have any special days or hours. We do ask that you bring things freshly cleaned and hanging on hangers so that we can look through them while you wait. And then in, on a monthly basis, we just write checks to you for 40 to 50 percent of what we've sold for you. Yeah, it's easy. I've been consigning for years. Hey, Chris, while I try on some clothes, I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Sure, Jane. Great. So, Chris, it seems like a lot of people are reluctant to buy clothing from a consignment shop. Why is that? What advice would you give them? Well, Jean, I think the main reason that many people are hesitant to buy resale clothing is that they just haven't been into a resale store recently. And the industry has dramatically changed over the past quarter century, and now you'll find that it's a very boutique atmosphere with designer labels and helpful salespeople who are very knowledgeable about style and current fashion. Well, who wouldn't want a fabulous outfit like this? I think it's perfect for any office setting. You look great, Jean. So, Chris, from your perspective, how do you think consignment shopping and buying fits into a sustainable lifestyle? To me, it comes down to living a more conscious life, of making select choices about where and how you spend your money. Buying resale reduces the amount of natural resources that are required to make new products. And to me, even though that sounds like kind of a highfalutin prospect, it really comes down to a lot of people making a lot of small choices, and that adds up to a big impact. So what happens to the clothes and accessories that you don't sell, Chris? Well, we give our consigners a choice. 
if they want to, they can call us and we'll collect everything up for them to pick up and donate or give to their friends. Or we can donate them to our charity for them. Well, so that's the challenge, isn't it? To get more of what would have been sent to the landfills into the hands of charities and textile recyclers. Well, this looks like what I'm going to wear tonight for date night. What do you think? It looks great, but you need a little something to cover up your shoulders. Oh, I think you're right. Oh, yeah. This will be wonderful. Well, I think I'm done shopping, so I'm going to get into my regular street clothes. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Chris, for the great tutorial today on how consignment shopping works. You're welcome, Jean. It was my pleasure, and I'm glad you found some treasures today. You bet I did. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. Thank you. So, you can still look great, recoup some money, and keep your clothes out of landfills by doing these simple things. One, buy less. That's easy for some of us anyway. Um, secondly, buying quality goods that last longer. Also, don't get fooled by fashion trends. They come and go. Be sure to stick with the classics. Also, donate your goods to charities, to shelters. The Humane Society is always looking for blankets and linens and things like that. And finding a textile recycler in your community. They're around, you just gotta look them up. I'm an everyday gal, making everyday choices count, and you can too. I'm Jean Bauman, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today. See you later. And see you later too, Chris. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.